What's up guys, this is Alexis playing. And we're playing Metro Exodus. Trying to not die. Oh, I thought that was an enemy. You do? She's good. Come on. Oh yes. Right, right. What should I switch? Is that more... Is that faster? Oh, why? Did my... I'm busy. Can't you see? Right. That. And more bullets. Okay, do I need to activate something? Ooh, okay. So I'm full. Let's hit it. <laughs> so that's the thing. Is that gonna turn the train? Duck. What? Oh, that's part of the game. Okay, okay. Don't worry, my CGI character won't let that happen. Are you okay? There's a manual drive on the platform. What? Kit, yes. Yes, sir. Let's wipe. Nope. <laughs> he put the tape. Uh, yeah, can't repair my, my gas mask. That's awesome. How to not see anything. Well, that's Help me out here, Artyom. Yeah, yeah. I just don't know where they are. Let's do this together. Just a little. Yes. Let's go. Do something. All right. Yes. Hey, no, babe. You're going to run the game. You should put the rest on. The seals might be damaged. Yes, sir. And the door is open, by the way. We did it. Yeah. I've repaired my mask. Flashbangs. Keep going. Shut up! I can't believe this. Just can't believe it. Shit! So this is 
true? You are working for them? The bastards shot our team! Be quiet! They... How did you end up here? Ah, it doesn't matter. You have no idea what you just stuck your heads in. We've no moves left. Hans, I can't take this line down. Oh, shit, the watchers won't let me. No, I won't be quiet. What is this jammer for? Why are they hiding the fact that Moscow didn't survive alone? There, what in the ravine, there are so people from other, other cities, dead. All there of them, women, up. children. I'll tell you all later. Gramps, what's going on out there? Down this road. The road is fine, at least until a hundred click mark. Is there a safe place to stop nearby? Of course. We have to make haste, though. They called the cruiser. All right, gentlemen. Artyom and Anna have just made a huge mess, and I can't go back to Moscow now. The wartime legislation dictates they'd be killed. In any case, I have to get them out of town until it all blows over. But you all should stay. Hear me, Major? My people are in no way related to... It's not my call, and you're not. ...misunderstanding. Well, I'll general. fight for the guys no matter what. Of course. Artyom, Anna, they are with the us. The no one behind. All right, Spartans, throw these overboard and full steam ahead. Come with me, Artyom. Let's catch them there. I'm so glad the boys supported us. It looks like my father didn't say a word to them about this either. We spent 20 years in Metro, thinking the rest of the world was burnt to a crisp in the war. But they just circled Moscow with those <laughs> jammers, and we were none the wiser. How perfect of them! Can I look around? Nope. While you were getting irradiated on the surface, my father just kept lying! Lying to you, to me, to everyone! The whole fucking world! And not even batting an eye! the train? Let's get that train instead. I want the other train. Let's do it this. Why are you? Because he started it all, and he better do something about it. Artyom, leave over as soon as we slow down. I will distract him in the meantime. Plastic is that you, Yako? Yeah, so cut this shit. Sounds fun. There's nowhere to go. You've never been out here. We have. We weren't going to go far. I just out of town for it until the excitement quiets down. And you just opened fire. Will you let us go if we stop? I have to detain you and bring you back to face trial. You do understand the charges you're facing, right? Desertion. Treason. Are you fucking kidding me? Me? A traitor? You tell me. Where are you taking that train, huh? On a simple joyride? No. I see only one answer. You've been fought and you're running back to your master. So the verdict has already been passed. We won't even see a trial. Cut that shit Oop. out. Spawn back here. I have been a soldier my whole life! 
I have dedicated my life to my people, my country. But I'll be damned if I give it to parasites like you. I'm gonna go outside. <laughs> it's now okay. Don't worry, you'll be safe with me. So what else do we have over here? This stuff, that's a little buggy, kind of. Oh, ledger journal. Official letter, official letter. All right, we have a treasure here. Is that uh, another path? Yes. You masks and um, plenty of stuff. I say we keep that train instead. Not quite sure what's happening here. What the hell is that? How come did that not work? I should, uh, I should leave them to my guys. Because there's nothing I can do, I guess, against that much people. So, okay, this has been done. Oh. Jesus Christ. You're gone. Let's change gun, let's reload. Those bullets. There we go. Wait, what? What's that? Fire bullets.
Jesus, don't shoot me. Toilets. Let's do this. That's kind of dangerous. Should stop them. Oh my god, Arjun! Thank goodness you're okay! I'm a hero. <laughs> well, kind of. You have some explaining to do. We stopped a hundred clicks from Moscow to check our Geiger counters. The thing is, they are all in the green, as if they're in a conspiracy. Still, this amazing piece of news doesn't really impress anyone that much. The guys are all confused as to what to do next, and I am just waiting for answers and hoping the commander. Whom until recently I trusted implicitly is going to be extremely persuasive in his reasoning. Let's go on. Geysers are in the green. Why your own face? We are at a crossroads, so to speak, where everybody can help but wonder. What next? Where do we go from here? Hmm, yes. More or less what I expected from you. But you got the picture. So, is your counter functioning? Have you checked it? Yes, it's all green. Double checked it. Stepan's in the green too. We don't need masks here. So, they were telling the truth. Who was telling the truth? Why won't you answer? Who are those people trying to kill us? Why would they shoot at you, the Order's Commander? Explain something, at least! You owe us that! Well, I might as well drop the bomb now. What? The war did not end. What do you uh, mean, what? did not end? Let me finish. Most of our cities are destroyed. The rest of the country is probably under enemy occupation. To avoid new nuclear attacks against us, Command chose the only viable course of action. To play dead. To ensure radio silence, the shield system was created. A network of radio jammers covering Moscow and suburbs. So that some radio enthusiasts wouldn't bring more bombs down on our heads by whining on air. And it's one of these jammers that got disabled by the hands of those present here. Could you not have shared that before? Say, before Artyom took that radio outside and caught all that radiation? No! I only got briefed half a year ago. Under a strict, you talk, 
to die policy. And then had to tell my people we were securing a weather station. Sir, with all due respect, if we can't go back, maybe we should advance and move on? I have an idea, but... Uh, Artyom, rather than carrying on with this silent disapproval of yours, <laughs> check the airwaves. We should be out of the jamming range by now, so give it your best try. And look for transmissions from the Ark. <sighs> Do you understand now why we are traitors in the eyes of command? We shut down a jamming station, shot up the guards, destroyed a patrol train, and ran away from Moscow. <sighs> Who even needs a trial when the case is so clear? There's no way back now. Which means we have to continue moving forward. Command! What are you talking about? The Moscow Defense Command. Have you ever heard of the Invisible Watchers? I have, but they're just an urban legend. Not at all. They are command. Are you sure they care for more than just protecting their asses? You mentioned the Ark. What's that all about? If Artyom finds their signal, you'll figure everything out. Otherwise, there is nothing to talk about. Do you think finding that Ark of yours is going to fix everything? I do not. But if you have a better idea, then go ahead. Yes, I do. We have to find a good place for people from Moscow. Like Artyom always wanted. Giving them all to the enemy? A grand idea. I say, we solve our problems before moving on to saving all Moscow. All right? How is it going, Artyom? Found it yet? Yes. There's a whole world out here. A world where we could live. So far, we only know one thing for sure. Radiation levels are nominal. The air is breathable. But what about the rain? So what? You can't even breathe in Moscow. So? Does anybody live out here? This we don't know. How will they treat us? Base. I don't know that either. What would they do if they found out there are survivors in Moscow? Wait a moment, what was that? Listen, everyone! Here should go uh, like this. This is our goal. So, is this what you had in mind? Yes, this is it. The Ark Project is a whole city underground. Enormous stores, machines, the best experts. It is the Commander General's HQ. All of the country's leaders are there. They have already started the restoration work. We will tell them that Moscow is alive. It wasn't all for nothing. Everything will change. Everything. Do you get it? A new life is starting for all the survivors of the world. Yeah. Oh, by the way, are there any single women in that place? <laughs> Great reaction. So I think the moment calls for... <clears throat> Bring it out to me. Bring what out, Colonel? Sir? That thing that's been sloshing about in your canteen. Uh, you think I'm deaf or what? Ah, uh, that. Uh, just a moment. I, I thought my ears were deceiving me. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a short trip to the Urals, so we should make ourselves comfortable, I guess. Well, let's name this bucket of bolts at the very least, eh? It's about time. Let's go around and be done with it. <laughs> nah, go to hell. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> Not bad. I like it. Ah, beautiful name. Sounds okay, but the cruiser of what? Yeah, I'll tell you later. Looks like it's decided. <laughs> Let's drink to you. Oh, that canteen is really big. <sighs> hey, I 
Ration, let's take a look at that map. All right, we had a round. That should be enough. Yermak, full steam ahead. Hi. Full steam ahead. Wow, that's some ideas. distance. I wonder how long it will take. E, map. We can resume the journey or continue exploring the train. Okay. And if I do right side. Oh, we go detail. Detail on the map, I guess. After all those years in the underground, the air of the surface seemed incredibly fresh, intoxicating. But that was not what had caused the crew's euphoria. Our journey finally got a definite purpose provided by the transmission from the government bunker in the Urals. For 20 years, we thought that neither the government nor military high command had survived. Turns out they're still around. Where were they while we were eating each other alive in the metro? We'll have a lot of questions for them once we reach Yamantau. If we reach it. The ruins of our country are under enemy control, according to Miller. And we'll have to fight through to our goal. A small team against the occupation armies? What are the chances that we'll succeed? That we'll get some answers? The Volga. Anything off yet, darling? <laughs> Here, let's warm you up a little bit. So, what do you think our chances of getting to Yamantau alive are? It's the only thing on my father's mind. How to earn his forgiveness, get back to Metro and his old life, the life you had always been running from. And to think, I never believed you. And now I'm looking at this fog, thinking it could actually be hiding our new life from us. By the way, we should be approaching the bridge soon. Damn it! A campfire! People! There are people there! Hit the brakes! Electric photo mode. On a trolley. Report to the bridge on the double. Artyom, you should probably get to the bridge. Yeah, let's get to the bridge. Are you all right, Artyom? Ah, of course. Someone's roadblock. Who was it? Any uniforms? None. They were wearing rags. Just some old farts. Old farts, huh? That's just the perimeter guard. They could have put anyone there, even women and children. Do you really think we found them, Colonel? Well, we can't be sure. I was expecting to run into them much earlier. The trolley is headed towards the bridge. Some fortifications there. This looks peaceful. A village and a church on the water. We need intel. Here, Artyom. I put a mark on your map. Get there and find out what you can about that bridge. Taking a prisoner would be ideal. Anna, you cover him. Yes, sir. May I go with Artyom too? As backup? No. Until we figure out our situation, you are not to take a step away from the Aurora. These two can handle themselves just fine. Let's Yermak. go, Artyom. When can you get the Aurora running again? I don't know yet. They can't check on that cylinder, but the phone there, please. Artyom, don't forget your backpack. It's a new model. A portable workshop, so to speak. The manual is inside. <laughs> There's a manual inside? Okay. It doesn't come with crafting materials, though. So keep an eye out for those. 
All right. Let's move out, Artyom. Yes, sir. Sure thing. Well, that's all. Good luck, guys. Where's the rest of the train? I gotta say, that was one flimsy roadblock. And those guys, well, they didn't look like army men at all. Just old men. or out of fear got it that's pretty cool we must have given them a good scare maybe they served the enemy enslaved or something all right guys that's gonna be it for today or this video at least we're gonna that's pretty cool the snow and everything so we're gonna cut the video here make another video after that and take care for more subscribe and see you in the next video all right guys take care